I never know you. Usually, church people often think that when there are several to choose from, it is God's will to choose which one. When humans think, they try to choose what they think is correct. In John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. This means that we can come to God only through Jesus Christ. In other words, God's will is the, to believe the words of Jesus. According to the Bible, the condition for entering the kingdom of God is to be free from sin. Jesus said, in order to receive the eternal life, you must eat and drink my flesh and blood to go to heaven. This expression means that you can go to heaven only if you believe in Jesus. He also said, unless you are born again of water and the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. To be born again means to be born with a new life and it means to die with Jesus Christ and live in a new life with Jesus Christ again. Jesus says that in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, all my sins are forgiven through Jesus Christ and we become righteousness through Jesus Christ and enter the kingdom of heaven. If we do not believe the words of Jesus, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus says, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must do the will of my Father. In the last day, many people say that we have performed a great power and have prophesied, but Jesus how do you say you do not know us? Is to say that these people do not believe in Jesus. But these people believed in Jesus and did all kinds of things. So why does Jesus say they don't know in the last day? After all, these people have never drank the flesh and the blood of Jesus have never been born again of water and the Holy Spirit, and have never been forgiven of their sins. If we do not know to do the will of heaven and Father, that Jesus says we will become like this. In John chapter 6 verse 40, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believes on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Those who see, believe in the Son, Jesus, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said that Jesus took away all the sins of the world. Believing this world is believing in Jesus. It means that everyone who believes in what Jesus Christ has accomplished will enter the kingdom of heaven. God's will is to believe in the Son and believe that the Son has taken away all the sin of the world. Those who say they believe in Jesus but still think that sin remains in them cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Among those who say, Lord, Lord, there are people who do this. It is said that Jesus took away all the sin of the world but to those who do not believe and repent of their sin every day. Jesus is saying that I don't know you. Jesus performed many miracles and the Jews cast out demons and raised the dead. The people who saw these things should have found Jesus Christ in the miracle, but they participated in the crucifixion of Jesus. It's the law that leads Jew to Christ. Christ must be found through the law, but the Jews did not find Jesus Christ. In the 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14, it 
there is an expression that the road is covered with the tower. In the past, after meeting God at Mount Sinai, Moses face become radiant and his face was covered with a tower like our eyes when the Jews saw the law they had a bear on their heart and they expressed that they did not know Christ even when they saw the law it was said that tower vanished in Christ it says depart from me you that work in quint the word work in quint he means to break the law and the law is the law the mean of jesus you that work in iniquity is you who are still bound by the law if you do not believe my words you must keep the law but you who do not properly obey the law and do not believe my words fail to keep the law is a sin and those who do not believe the waters of Jesus are locked up the laws, so they are ultimately the sinner. There is no one in the church who thinks we are saved by keeping the law, even though they think they are saved only through faith in Jesus Christ. They see that they are voluntarily bound and kept under the law. Next time I will explain, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Jesus Christ. Thank you.